All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is just another, you know, uh, video that I saw someone post on the Spinal Cord Injury Forum. He said, what shoes do you wear? And, you know, which ones uh, work the best for you? It's hard to, you know, put my shoes on in the morning or something like that. But, uh, and he said he liked Nikes and this and that. So I just wanted to make this video. I'm going to show you my shoes, uh, my socks, and uh, what works for me. So, I mean, just keep in mind that this is not like these aren't paraplegic suit shoes. These aren't paraplegic socks necessarily. This is just my personal preference, what works for me. This is just to help maybe a select few people or a lot of people. And just keep in mind, I am medicated and I already did uh, stretch out. So I'm not going to be hopefully spasming too much. Now first, the shoes I wear, look, they're all the same. I like Jordans and this specific one. This specific one because, yeah, I'll show you the one that I didn't take the shoelaces off of. It's very like wide, a lot of area. And you know, I'm a 10 and a half, so I get an 11. Gives you this extra room, so my toes are at the widest part. And also, they got these wings. These wings can fry open, or you know, pry open. And then I can do this and get these all wide, and then I can pull the tongue out. Look at that big opening. So let me just show you instead of keep on explaining. So I pretty much just do that. You gotta make sure, because I've had it happen before, guys, don't let your toe get bent and you know, stuck in your shoe like that. So, you know, get it in there at the straightest angle without getting your toes into the bottom. And what I like about these two, I can, you know, widen it with these wings and pull the tongue and reach in there real quick. All my toes are straight. And then I can just quickly, bam, bam, they're tight again. I don't go all the way up to the wing hole. I only go to the top skinny one, actually second from the top. I skipped this one and these ones up here. I don't even know if those are necessarily used. I've never used shoes with them that high. Oh, that's my other one. And then here's the other one, same thing. Get the shoelaces out of the way, pull the tongue out, widen it up. And they're nice and slow. Make sure you're not spasming. Sometimes your foot will spasm like this. Make sure it's straight, because just touching the edges of your shoe will make it spasm and contract. Check your toes, none of them are bent, they're all straight. Tighten it up. And I know I put my shoes on with no socks. I honestly do not use socks that often because I don't like how they squeeze your toes together. And like when you take your socks off at the end of the day, you'll see the whole imprint of the sock. But if I do use socks, like I'm going somewhere that's hot or if I'm gonna use my shoes all day, not take them off. I don't want them to be sweaty in there and cause fungus or anything like that. These are at Walmart. These are actually diabetic socks. They do not give you that much tension. And if you can tell, these ones are relatively skinny. They're brand new. Here's the same exact ones that I use all the time. You see how they're wide and thicker and loose? That's because I will literally bring it all the way up and uh, stretch it and get them nice and thick and loose. So my toes aren't squeezed together, you know, it'll cause ingrown toenails, stuff like that. So diabetic socks, guys. And uh, I really don't know what retro Jordan this is. Jordan 1, 2, 3, I've never been that huge into them, but I do have a lot of Jordans. I just don't know which numbers they are. They're just the ones I think that are cool. Wait, hold on a second. You guys might want to see how I take them off. Just do that, you know, unlace them. Make sure they're not you know, in your way or anything. I always pull this, don't, don't ever just pull your shoe off with it tied. I feel like, you know, we're already weaker down here and we have, you know, osteoporosis or other kinds of problems because we don't stand anymore. I feel like it's gonna pull your foot out of its socket. So make sure it's loose. And look, it didn't pull my foot at all. Very gentle with your feet, even though they don't work for you anymore. So there you go. Um, Hopefully this helps someone. Hopefully you give me a like, give me a subscription if you haven't subscribed and uh, you know, throw a comment, what shoes you wear, what's your method or do you want me to show you a follow up video and what do you want me to do guys? I'm a content creator just for you guys and uh, I will have you know more wheelchair and car videos coming soon. Peace.